Men of Reddit, what's something that the ladies are insecure about but you'll actually like? I hope this come out the right way. Height. My wife is not even that tall but all her friends are 5 feet 2 inches or shorter. She's 5'8 and when I met her she was super insecure about it. We're about the same height but I really like it. I've heard multiple women say they were self-conscious about their veins. Nothing else, just the sight of their normal veins on the surface of their skin. But call me crazy, I like a woman with a vascular system shrug light skin tone emoji modifier hashtag hash. My missus has a filthy laugh. She's embarrassed about it so it only comes out when she really finds something funny. If I could, I'd fill that straight into my veins. What she looks like first thing in the morning. My wife has been getting random grey hairs for a bit now, more and more. It's somewhat more noticeable in bright sunlight. She's only mid-40s, and it seems to get her down a little bit. I've told her that it doesn't bother me at all, but I think it just reminds her that we're getting older, bit by bit. I think it looks fantastic, like stars in the night sky. When she eventually goes fully grey, well, what could be more spectacular than a night sky completely covered in stars? I personally don't have a problem with big noses. Being silly and fun. This is one of the most attractive things for a true meaningful relationship. Ever hear of marrying your best friend? What's better than being silly and fun? The silly little sounds and goofy things they say and do randomly throughout the day. Could be singing, or just randomly making sounds, or narrating their actions. It's adorable and heartwarming that they're comfortable enough around you to do it, but if they notice you noticing they get embarrassed. Which is also cute AF. The one I don't get is hiding masking their real laugh. There's nothing more attractive than making a gorgeous woman absolutely lose her shit. The holding the sides, the little snort it's just too too cute. It sucks that some people have made them feel ugly just for expressing themselves. Edit spelling. Well you all made me realize what a giant asshole I was dating. Their body. My ex would always tell me to stop staring at her while she's naked e.g. when she was undressing before going to bed. But for me it had nothing to do with being horny or mostly anything sexual at all, it was simply pure beauty. Like you would look at an arts masterpiece or the moment you reach a mountaintop and enjoy the scenery. Just pure admiration of the beauty, nothing else. If anyone is prone to acne, I always found it to have a totally negligible impact on a girl's attractiveness. That's more of a don't mind than like, though the cliché that imperfection accentuates beauty does often apply. This isn't really gender specific but I've not seen it mentioned here and I think it's probably women that get a harder time for it overall. But general weirdness. Interests, obsessions, passions. We may not know or even care about it as much as you do, but if we care about you at all, then that look you get when you talk about it is wonderful. Forget all that sexist immature primary school bullshit that told you to be normal and conform. Be weird. My partner says oops whenever she does something wrong in the funniest voice. She's so embarrassed by it but she has no idea how much it brightens my day. This one gets asked a lot but hey. I like a nose with that bone that kinda comes out. Hawkish. I like a lil arm hair. I like the squishy part on the back of the arm. Belly I can squeeze. Freckles, some hate their freckles. I mean you tell me something a woman ID self-conscious of and I'll tell you I like it. I just like women. Ariela sighs. Some women seem to think that tiny is the ideal. I don't know why. Everything from small to large can look great. Like everything else, it's a case-by-case -case basis. There is no ideal. I've seen many ladies being insecure about hip dips or slightly curved jawline but this thread makes me feel you guys probably don't even notice this stuff do you. Glasses, holy shit women with glasses are beautiful. Just general aging. 
My wife is 51 and she's just beautiful as she is. I fucking love stretch marks. It's like damn girl your skin couldn't handle all that ass. The little belly paunch most women have even if they are slim or athletic. Also, no matter what size or shape your boobs are, we like em. Might have preferences, but all boobs are good boobs. Anytime a woman says she looks terrible she almost never does. Or they'll point out something I don't even notice and don't even care about after it's brought up. Your face is awesome please for fuck's sake don't post a picture with shitty filter that makes your face look like shiny blurry wax. Reading these comments was so eye-opening. Thanks, guys. I think I just fell in love with every man that commented here. Crow's feet are so beautiful when women smile. How they look without makeup. Their natural smell odor. Fucking everything. Stop reading those shitty magazines that make you feel shitty about the most random ass shit about how you look. Men don't read those magazines. We don't give a fuck about your thigh gap or whatever bullshit you are supposed to hate yourself over today. My wife has what she'd describe as a mum bod after having our children. If anything I find her body more attractive now, she gifted me two beautiful kids with her body. Freckles. Women hate them, but I've never heard a man say a bad word about a freckle. Big old bushy natty eyebrows. Didn't see this in the responses yet, so figured I'd shout it out. I'm not a fan of heavily manicured brows and the pencil thin brows or eyebrows that have to be drawn on as a pretty big turn off. So much so that I'd probably prefer some fan brechnev or unibrow than tweezed to non-existence. Your eyelashes are fine, no need to put racing spoilers on them. Small boobs, I prefer them to big boobs but big boobs are also great. Jiggly fat, especially around the thigh area. Look, fitness is great and I'm also into one hour of exercise a day, but don't be so obsessed about being so shredded that you become a kite. It's healthy to have fat. You're an ordinary person, not a model whose career depends on how thin they look. The way she looks when she's all OMG I look homeless. You actually look totally fine. As a woman reading this it absolutely warms my heart that there are still good men out there loving the women in their lives the way they are. Thanks for the read lads. This entire thread is refreshing to read because we women have these awful standards and low self-esteem primarily because of people we have dated. Insecurities don't come from nothing and reading how just being human and not made up all the time is actually perfectly okay means a lot. Can I just say, as an insecure woman, this post is so damn wholesome and makes me feel so much better about so many things white smiling face hash. Boob. Many girl insecure with their boob when men actually don't really care. Boob is boob no matter what. Not wearing a bra. As a woman reading this thread has made my day. Hearing men appreciate their wives' partners' insecurities has made for a lovely read. Big and interesting noses. Especially aquiline noses. Gorgeous. That little belly. Big thighs IDK, like I find thighs so sexy, if my GF for some reason one day will feel insecure about her thighs, I will always say she is sexy and the priorityest girl ever. Tummies. I love to rest my hand on her lower abdomen, over her womb. It feels like such an intimate spot to me and I love to rub it gently. But some partners have expressed some self-consciousness when I did that and that's all right. But it felt so nice to me. I also like the armpit. Their natural hair. Practical footwear. I'd rather date a woman who can walk at a good pace. Stretch